All right guys, welcome back to the channel. So, just trying to tidy up some stuff as I have been for the last couple weeks and I want to get these seats mounted in this thing. And one of the things that was kind of holding me back was the tank for the hydraulic system. Uh, space is so tight that I need to actually kind of cut off a little bit of this tank and uh, repatch it so the seat can kind of fit in there. And um, this is kind of gonna be like a, you need this tool video, but kind of not. So you can see I've already kind of marked the line and uh, got me thinking, I wanted to kind of talk about making lines, right? When, when you're trying to make something, a lot of times, the more precise you can get in your marking itself, the less work you'll have to do as you start to cut and, and grind and, and do that sort of thing. If you can be very precise on your marking, you can cut it very precisely, and then when you go to fit pieces or weld pieces, they're gonna fit together very nicely, and you're gonna have a better product in the end. So I felt like it'd be worthwhile to kinda go over some of the things I use to mark within the shop. Obviously, we could start off with the old Sharpie. So this is a silver Sharpie. Uh, I use this a lot on roll bar tubing and anything obviously of dark color, you gotta go with the silver Sharpie. The only thing I don't like about these is they don't have the clips uh, to hold them, you know, if you wanna put them in your pocket or whatnot. So you got the silver, you got the black, and then the Ink Saw uh, by Milwaukee. Now, I tend to go to these a lot, even though they're not very precise. They are quick and easy though, so that's probably why I use them as much as I do. I have these things scattered everywhere through the shop. I occasionally use just a regular pen in here if I'm marking cardboard or whatnot, trying to draw templates, I'll use, this just happens to be a Fronius pen. Works pretty good. And I like this thing too, this is a Dixon Reach, Reach pen. Um, this thing has a long snout on it, so if you're trying to get down in holes, it works really well to, uh, yeah, to do that. Sometimes I'll use it for other things too, but I try to save this one because I've only got one of them. Which brings me to the main marking utensil that I wanna show you guys, or I wanna talk about when you're talking about precision marking, and that's a scribe. So, I've got a bunch of these things that kinda of float around the shop from something that probably didn't start off as a scribe. This thing was probably like a screwdriver or something at one point, um, but it works pretty well. This one was designed to be a scribe uh, by Husky. Yeah. And then you've got, you know, the long bad boys. This one's actually made, you know, if you need to get in a tighter spot to kind of mark a hole or something in something, in something, something, something. And then these bad boys here. Now, when it comes to scribes, one of the things you want to be aware of is the sharper you can keep the tip on these things, the better off you'll be. And so, for instance, like these two, um, these things get dull pretty fast because they're not, the, the metal is not a, a super hard metal. Whereas these here actually have tungsten bits that go in them and stay very sharp, very long, very tough. Uh, you hardly ever have to worry about these. They can mark through just about anything. So you can see that can make a mark on this pretty easily. Whereas some of these other ones on this powder coat won't do that. So big difference when it comes to scribes, get a good scribe, it'll kind of stay very precise and mark through just about anything. So these are all well and good. Now, if you're working with bare metal, uh, a lot of times you either can't see the marks very well, um, which matters because if you're gonna try to cut on the mark, you wanna be able to see that thing really well. And so there's another product that uh, is on the market, this stuff right here called Dicom. Um, this is a layout fluid, bogus. So this is called Dicom layout fluid. And basically it's just some blue dye. You can get it different colors. Uh, I think you can get it in red as well. It comes with a brush and then you can just take this stuff you need to basically just paint it on whatever surface that you're gonna mark, you're gonna do your precision marking with. I 
Like that. I'll let it dry just for a little bit. So there you go. About, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds it dries. When it's dry, it's got this kind of flatness to it. And then once you have that, you can basically mark through this stuff with anything. So, you know, if you draw a line, If you can see that but it's going to give you a nice clean line in that marking fluid so you can kind of lay out what it is you want to cut bend whatever it is with this marking fluid you can see it really well and then you can be very precise when you go to cut it so like I said precision can save you a lot of time when it comes to laying out stuff I mean you know you can just see a you know a mark on a, on a sharpie versus the line that I've put on this. Big difference. Especially if you know you need a really tight fit on something. Uh, the way you mark it is gonna matter. And it'll save you time, you'll do less work, you'll get less aggravated, your welds will look better because you had a better fitment. So yeah, there's a bunch of ways to do it. Um, I've got a bunch scattered throughout the shop because kind of like Sharpies, they end up disappearing and I can't find them and so the more the better kind of how I look at it. Go get you some precision marking tools. It'll really help you out. As far as uh, less aggravation, you'll get more work done because you'll be cutting and, and, and grinding and fitting less, and it will be less aggravating when it comes to welding, or it'll produce better welds because you have better fitments and you'll have better products in the end. Kind of a tool video, but not really a tool video. Anyway, I'll drop you some links in the description. You can go check all this stuff out. None of it's very expensive. Yeah, get you some precision, go get some precision marking tools, step up your game a little bit, or just stick with the Sharpie. All right, I'm gonna get back to cutting this thing up. I'll see y'all in the next video. Go do work, son.